Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hero Factory Nostalgia Reviews. Today I'll be taking a look at Pyrox, uh, one of the last medium-sized villains, or the last medium-sized villain from Wave 1 of Brain Attack, which debuted in the uh, holiday season of 2012, I believe. Alright, let's, let's get into it. Deci decided to fall, because these sets are losing all their friction, so they like to do the splits on me quite often. Here's the packaging. As usual, I'm, I don't have to explain it. I like the design, that's all. Uh, combiner model with Ferno XL. Uh, I do love Ferno Excel. Very excited to get to him. Uh, then we have your brain functionalities and your part or uh, points for the game, which was 600 points. And here for the instruction booklets, uh, you have the comic from Brain Attack, um, kind of your introductory comic. You have the advertisement back here. Oh no, they changed it up for this one. Um, 600 points to the game. And you have the combiner model between him and Ferno XL. And here it is, the wonderful advertisement for the face filter section of the game, which is not available anymore, I don't think. Specifically, if you play this game, you have to take a photo at 4.20 a.m. That's how this works. Uh, so, let's move on to Pyrox. You guys know what time it is. It is Pyrox O'Clock. So, let's take a look at him. This is undoubtedly one of my more favorite villains from Brain Attack, especially over Bruiser, which I covered last week. Uh, for one, I just have to quickly point out, LEGO brought back uh, the Metro Red color, which I think they had actually used a little bit on Black Phantom uh, the year prior, but it wasn't very substantial. And now we are having torso armor and armor add-ons and a mask in that color. And I I'm a sucker for Metro Red, I think it's a very royal looking color. So I love that they brought it back, and I love that they made it work so well with such a bright accented color scheme. And I think they balanced everything out pretty well too. Now, something they did right again with this set is the the asymmetricality of it. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, but with Bruiser, they did it in a weird, awkward way. With this one, it's just on the legs, pretty much. Um, you have uh, black armor here with red accents, and you have um, the fiery accent here. So I love it when they do that and they add those little accents. It really does look a little more imposing. Now let's move on to the weapons real quick, because Pyrox has some pretty cool little add-ons and features here. So of course we have this like spinning I mean, LEGO's been doing this type of weapon for years, but it's always kind of nice because it's a simple weapon, it looks cool. Um, I like that they added like a little spike here to kind of make it look like he is holding it by some sort of handle. And that it is really shooting fire. Uh, they made these uh, these colors transparent on the ends, which is pretty cool. Um, same with the claw here, it just looks like it's a, like a living, flowing lava claw type deal. And um, I also like how, like I know LEGO sometimes doesn't put a claw at the very end of each of these, and I'm glad that they did with this, because it just wouldn't look right if they didn't. Um, so I'm really glad that they did. It just really fills out the claw, looks a lot cooler that way. I love, again, the Metro Red Rock armor here that they also used on Bruiser in a different color in gray. Now we have it in Metro Red, really, really nice. Uh, the brain on the back here can attach to this red uh, axle holder, which I like to keep mine attached because it seems like after all these years the brain pieces have finally molded a little bit so they just sit in there nicely. Um, speaking of the brain piece, this is actually one of my favorite villain masks uh, from this wave. It's very, very like detailed. Um, I think he's supposed to be a bull? Um, I, I'm not sure. I think it's inspired by a bull, especially because of the horns at the top um, of the, the headpiece here that you attach on. But this is definitely a really cool mask. Again, it suffers from the brain attack, uh, uh, like, again, it suffers from the thing that most brain attack masks are suffering from, where in order to fill the mask out completely, you need the brain to fill the rest of the head out. Um, but this is a cool brain. It's in yellow this time. Uh, fits with the color scheme of the set. These might be my only major problem with the set, is that they're just so big. Like, I feel like they could have used... You guys know that the horns that they use for Dragon Ball, like the yellow ones, like the tiny ones? I feel like they could have used those here. This just... That kind of looks ridiculous. <laughs> and it kind of feels ridiculous too when you're trying to move the head around and he's hitting his own hand and shoulder and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a minor complaint, might be my only real criticism with the set. 
but it looks kind of wonky and it feels kind of wonky and I wish they would have used smaller pieces for those but like now that I'm really taking a minute and looking at it like it looks it kind of looks ridiculous especially because they aren't even really coming from the right parts of the head in order to be horns like it's coming from his like cheeks which is just whack. I, I've really never spent that much time looking at it before, but now that I do, I can't really stop seeing it. So, um, point taken off from Pyrox, but it's really not that big of a deal. I also really like his stature. I like that they decided to make this guy short. They used the shortest bones possible. Well, not that's, that's a lie. They used the shortest bones possible that have a ball joint in the middle. And I think that was really smart. And they used these Ben 10 feet from the Ben 10 era CCBS sets um, that were also used on XT4, I believe, in yellow. Um, so I like that they use those here. I will say because he's a little top heavy, these feet um, sometimes don't aren't the best at holding him up. You just kind of have to lay them flat and make sure that his sides are mostly balanced. But again, minor complaint. I, I really do like this set. I think it's a solid set, has great parts, great color scheme, great weapons, imposing little dude, fights Ferno XL. You know, I, I think all, all, all around, Pyrox is a, is a really solid set to come out of the Brain Attack wave. Well, that is it. That's all I have to say today about Pyrox. Um, thank you guys for watching. Next week, we're going to take a look at Frost Beast. So uh, stay tuned for the uh, essentially the opposite of this guy. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. My new fire shield's absorbing this flame just fine.